the real Spanish chef. Fresh wow. y la prudencia. Vamos. Saturday afternoon and I'm in my office. I'm editing the footage I did with a few Spanish friends and it actually prompts me to share a few thoughts with you guys. Hey, this is exactly what I miss about traveling, to be able to do Spanish dance with local Spanish people. But I sort of figure out that you can actually do the same thing in Hong Kong without traveling. With an open mind and the courage to meet people, you can sort of recreate that in your own city. Th this is how. This is my friend Laura here. She is from... España. España. I, I normally don't know so many Spanish people in Hong Kong. She She's such a lovely person that she's got to show us some Spanish spirit. It's so, it's, it's, is it like a tapas? It's a tapas. So what is tapas? Actually, we can say that tapas is like your dim sum. Ah, so this is Spanish dim sum. Exactly. It's like a small platter to share. Everything can be tapa. Everything can be as tapa. As long as it's small. Exactly. Well, a lot of people ask me, so Torres, how do you know so many people from different cultural backgrounds in Hong Kong? First, you need to show them that you're interested in their culture. I'm not sure about you, but I feel so excited whenever I share my Asian culture. Like, I, I feel a great sense of pride. And it is the same for everyone. People are happy to share as long as you ask. Laura is going to teach us how to say delicious in Spanish. Que rico! <laughs> what just happened? Say, say again. <laughs> rico. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you can. Why? You can. <laughs> 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 you can try okay, with a basic like perro. 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 A it dog. Means dog. El perro de Rodrigo no tiene rabo porque Ramón Ramírez se lo ha robado. <laughs> Is the owl sound very important in Spain? Very important. So if I, if some people like, why can't I pronounce it? Some people cannot. Is it just even in Spain? It's well, it doesn't matter if you can't pronounce like a local Spanish. At the end of the day, we're not the same. If we're the same, what's the point of having any conversation? That being said, many people ask me, oh, when I meet different people, what do we talk about? How do I continue the conversation? Well, as I said before, they are as interested in your culture as you are in theirs. So you can leverage the things that happen around Asia and ask them how they feel. Laura and I, we spoke about being superstitious in Asia. Trying to rent a place okay. in Hong Kong. Okay. And someone like had a problem, like they, some like crazy accident happened. I know. That's my favorite. I'm gonna tell you. Would you take the house? Me? Definitely, yes. No way! Are you serious? Torres, you, yes, Do you know what happens at J residence? I have to say that I'm living there. The same apartment? No, I will, I will do that. This is one of the most gruesome crime that has ever been committed in Hong Kong. And Laura's living there. I'm zero, like, super dishious. Totally fine with yeah. these kind of things. I don't know why. Since I moved to J residence, I started to sleep very bad. Very oh. bad. So in my company, we always hire the, I don't Feng remember Shui the master. name. Uh -huh. He doesn't know where I live, my new building, anything. I just told him that lately I was not able to sleep that, that good. And then he was telling me, where are you living? You are not living on the same place as before. You are not living on the same building. I mean, in your building, you have so many ghosts. Like there is many- it's many ghosts. Ghosts, like there is many spirits. There is something and he was becoming like, and he didn't know. Okay, now comes the most asked question I get. How do I be in my own city but live like I travel around the world? How do I meet them? So it's all about you and how much you want it. When I was in uni, I made a concrete effort to hang out with exchange students. See, you can pay Hong Kong university fees and have the experience of studying in different countries. And some people, they study abroad, but they only hang out with people from back home. So the determining factor is really just you. I think in this decade, 2020, everyone is well educated. Everyone has a university degree. So what differentiates student A and student B is their ability to maneuver around different groups of people. The things and the way the way you speak to Chinese people are different from the way and things you speak to a bunch of British people. And if you can't maneuver around, then you will just be stuck in a competition with 
millions of other people who, who have the same qualification as you. Before I proceed to show you guys how I made paella in the Spanish restaurant in Hong Kong and and our fun Spanish night together, I want to take this time to thank my sponsor Langoda for always supporting me to make content that are related to cultural differences and language and just always exploring. And I want to say a huge congratulations to Leon, one of my viewers who successfully completed the Langoda Super Spring Challenge in business English. So he got all his cash back. I was really, really happy to meet him and I was so grateful that something I promoted had such a positive impact on him. Well done, Leon. And if you guys want to join as well, sign up before the 28th of December. Or you can also do Lingoda's regular classes. Lingoda is an online language platform that connects you with thousands of native speaking teachers with great qualification. And you can learn English, Spanish, German, French, and business English on the platform. And now you can actually try the platform and see if you like it or not because they're offering three classes in one week for three. Free, free. If you have decided to do the regular classes, be sure to use my voucher code as well to get 20 euro off your first month. With Lingoda, you can learn a new language anywhere and anytime with just a little device and internet connection. A lot of my viewers have done it and they have made significant improvements. And if you sign up for Lingoda, let me know because I'll, we, we can meet and I'll buy you lunch. The only reason we're here is because Laura wants to show me her favorite rice. Not Asian rice, but Spanish rice. And she said this rice will blow an Asian man away. I never teach uh, such a tall Asian man. <laughs> <laughs> can Hong Kong people with our kitchen, can we make at home? Yeah, sure. It's sure. easy? It's very easy. Don't very say that because no one will come to your restaurant. It's true, it's true. <laughs> so, the first ingredient we need for paella is a Spanish rice. Arroz bomba. Arroz, Arroz bomba. bomba. Okay. Then chicken. Pollo. 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 Then um, beans, green beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little bit rosemary. Alchichok. Alcachofa. Alcachofa. Okay. And then we have here is sofrito. So it's onion, uh, tomato, garlic. Chicken stock. Yes. So we start with oil. What? Generous. Yes. Oh, so fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll pay ya. Oh, baby. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. oh! I thought you said no fire. No fire. It's a... That is no fire? No fire. Yeah. Okay. So, in Valencia, in Spain, yeah. we say we put the rice like a cross. So, you use your hands. Correct! Okay. The real Spanish chef! I've eaten rice for 24 years. I'm very I never impressed. made Spanish rice. When you smell burn, is the moment you know your paella is finished. De la vida. Eating Spanish paella with a bunch of Spanish people and then they speaking Spanish, it makes me feel like I'm in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just keep talking in Spanish, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, that's mm. so delicious. Torres, what do you think about the paella? I'm gonna eat now. Mmm. Mm. So rich. Mm -hmm. So rich, like a posh catalan. <laughs> side, right? On the side, yeah. on the side. Oh. Wow. It's also Chinese people's wow. face. Wow. I don't call. I think it's like Now we had lunch. Yeah. We had lunch. We had beautiful lunch. We learned how to do paella. Yeah. And now we are learning how to do sobremesa. Ooh. La sobremesa. What does that so mean? For us, it's as important as having a great lunch or dinner yeah. is the after lunch or after dinner. It's that moment you take to relax, to reflect, to enjoy life, and you spend two more hours in the restaurant <laughs> just talking about life. <laughs> because life is beautiful. You know, my first shock when I arrived in Hong Kong and I went to a restaurant for lunch, yeah. I had lunch. Three seconds after, a lady came, gave me check, and she was like, okay, can you pay? Do you mind to pay and leave? And I was like, no, 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 but wait, I mean, I need to yeah. have my sobremes. Yeah. Like a lunch, like a normal lunch with your family and friends, how long does it take? Like Whoa. four hours? Yeah? yeah. yeah. At least. At least. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Can we just 
take a minute to reflect on the fact that we just had lunch and we're having digestive right now and it's completely dark. <laughs> just a fact. If you go That's home after dark. lunch and it's not dark, <laughs> not good lunch. Arriba, uh -huh. abajo, uh -huh. al centro, oh, y para dentro. Oh. Oh.